Hey, what's up, Wendy? This is Devin from Plumber HVAC Leads. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, and I appreciate uh, Sabrina speaking to me earlier. I'm just going to really briefly show you some things I found on your website that you can fix so you can start bringing in more customers for free. I know you're probably wondering why I'm even making this video for you, and it's super simple. I just found out a little while ago there's a lot of plumbers and HVAC techs out there who don't really have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more customers. And so I found that by making these attack plans and giving them away for free, there's still a lot of plumbers who end up calling me back going, you know what, Devin, I like you, just do this stuff for me. So at the end of this all, you see I've got some tricks in my sleeve and I can do some real good for your business. Give me a call, we can chat. If you want to do this stuff yourself, just that's totally okay too, this is free education. What I'm going to talk to you about today is going to be content, backlinks, and citations. If we first start by looking at your website, I really like the look of your website. Like You have a very clean logo, you've got these coupons right here, which are great when somebody does come to your site, it's easy to get to close them. Um, as from a web design point of view, it's absolutely a beautiful website, you know, photos and stuff everywhere. Now, Google doesn't rank you based off of how good looking your website is. What they do is they take your website and they break it down into a text file and they search that text file for keywords. And keywords are just phrases that people search into Google to find your business. So like plumber Sacramento, plumbing in Sacramento, Sacramento plumber, Sacramento router, stuff like that. Um, when somebody does type in like Plumber Sacramento, for example, Google's goal is to put them in front of the website that's going to answer all their questions, which is typically the website that has the most words. And that's the reason why the average website on the front page of Google right now has about 1,890 words on it, which is where you want to be sitting, you know, close to 1,500 to 2,000. It looks like you probably right now have about 500 words on your front page. I'm going to show you how to beat the top guys for Plumber Sacramento, which is Armstrong Plumbing. These guys come up first, and you can see... Right away, their content isn't that much better than yours, and I'm going to show you why they're beating you in a sec. But the big thing is you want to make sure you're targeting the right keywords. So, like Plumber Sacramento, that has a lot of people searching for it. I'm going to show you what keywords you're targeting right now, because you do have some traffic coming to your site, but it's not the traffic that shows any buyer intent. So, Rapid Router San Diego obviously is your old name. Um, all these right here can be searched from any state or city in the entire country. It doesn't have anything to do with Sacramento. But if I do type in Sacramento and find some buyer intent keywords, sort, sort by volume, get rid of URLs. Now you can see Plumber Sacramento, 150 people search for that every single month and you're on the sixth page. Plumbing Sacramento, 100 people search for that every single month, you're on the fifth page. Sacramento, that's not a good one. Sacramento Plumbing, 100 people search for that. You're on the sixth page. Sacramento Plumber, 100 for that. Sixth page. So you can see these are the keywords you want to have on your site. And you can see Armstrong Plumbing is targeting those keywords. They're number one for Plumber San Diego, uh, Sacramento Plumbing. They're on the first page. Plumbing Service Sacramento, first page. Plumber Sacramento. You see how they get all these buyer intent keywords? These are the keywords you want to have on your home page and be targeting. Okay? So that's how you make yourself an authority. The next thing is to make yourself trustworthy and Google judges you based off of how many other websites are linking to you, driving traffic to you, but they want to see relevant links. So that means they're going to give you a lot more power for other plumbing companies linking to you than you would from like Pizza Hut linking to you. Google knows you're not a pizza company. So I use this tool. It's called Ahrefs. It costs about a thousand bucks a month, but it gives you some really valuable data on what's going on in the back end of websites, kind of like I showed you with the keywords. It says you currently have 181 websites linking to you, while Armstrong Plumbing only has 79. So you're already beating them. It just goes back to having the right content and having more content. Um, as far as the type of links you have, I see you have one that has to do with plumbing, and that's actually your own name. Um, but other than that, I'm not seeing anything to do with plumbing. Here you go. There's one too. So it's pretty rare. You want to have some more that have to do with plumbing. So it boosts you up a little more and shows Google that you have that tar that topic of like plumbing and piping and stuff like that. The last thing is when somebody types in plumber Sacramento and they're ready to buy, they're going to call the first plumber that shows up that seems trustworthy. And you obviously want to be that plumber. Those are going to be the easiest customers to close. Now we already know that people skip these ads at the top all the time. So we want to rank ourselves in the Google My Business section. And getting here requires having more citations than our competitors, which is anywhere where our name, address, and our phone number are listed any, or on different areas on the web or different directories across the web. And directories are just websites that allow you to list your business's information. So you're talking about like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Angie's List, Home Advisor. These are all the most common ones. The best strategy here is to figure out what directories your competitors are listed in. Go list yourself in those exact same directories and add a bunch more on top. So like if Mr. Rooter here is in 150 directories, put yourself in like 250, if not 300. Uh, but that's all I've got for you, Wendy. I hope you found this really informative. Just as a really quick recap, you're going to want to get your website up to about 2,000 words on the home page and start targeting buyer intent keywords. Um, you're also going to want to put you're you're pretty good with the amount of domains you have. You just want to make sure you get some that have to do with plumbing. So it's you're better on, on topic. 
And then the last thing is you're going to want to put your name, address, and phone number in more directories and competitors. Uh, Wendy, if you guys want to do this stuff yourself, please do. It's free education. I'm just here to help as many business owners as I possibly can. And I just ask you, please send me back like one sentence of feedback and just let me know what you thought about the video. It really helped me. And if you do want any help getting that stuff taken care of, or if you want me to write you out a written attack plan, I'd be glad to do that for free as well. My phone number is 805-618-6426. Either way, I do appreciate your time. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye.